हेलो फ्रेंड्स एंड वेलकम बैक टू लेसन नंबर सिक्स वी आर डिस्कसिंग इंडियन एग्रीकल्चर दिस इज़ द थर्टीन वीडियो इन दिस वीडियो विल कंटिन्यू डिस्कसिंग अबाउट कॉन्ट्रैक्ट फार्मिंग एंड लैंड लीजिंग इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव स्टडीड व्हाट इज़ कॉन्ट्रैक्ट फार्मिंग व्हाट आर द चैलेंजेस एंड व्हाट इज़ द इम्प्लीकेशन ऑफ कॉन्ट्रैक्ट फार्मिंग फॉर स्मॉल एंड मार्जिनल फार्मर्स इन दिस वीडियो विल स्टडी अबाउट लैंड लीजिंग ओके सो दीज टू आर रिलेटेड टॉपिक्स बट स्लाइटली डिफरेंट सो लेट इज फर्स्ट अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज लैंड लीजिंग रिफॉर्म्स so as i had told you in the previous video also that you know in india there are lot of unofficial uh, land leasing that is going on in every state so over 20 million cultivators are unofficial tenants so there is a informal reality 20 million meaning more than 2 crores okay uh, cultivators are informal tenants unofficial tenants there is no formal agreement between the actual land owner and the cultivator for uh you know uh, leasing out the land and lack of written contracts leads to no access to kisan credit card formal credit pradhan mantri fasal bima yojana or msp benefits also so these are some of the issues now uh so model agriculture land leasing act of 2016 is there so what it does is it's uh, it legalizes all tenancy forms fixed rent share cropping lease etc so you know there is a legal format uh, you know by which the rent which is paid by the tenant to the uh, land owner then the share cropping meaning what will be the distribution of the profit and also you know what will be the lease period terms and condition of lease everything will be legalized Uh, it protects ownership no claim by the tenant so the land ownership will be protected also because sometimes what happens is if the tenant is there for 10 years 20 years and they they uh, you know they don't leave the land even if the owner wants so you know they try to claim their possession and ownership of the land even if they are not the legal owners so it protects the ownership also it enables lessees to access credit insurance and subsidies so various benefits of various schemes can also be accessed if there is a formal tenancy agreement a major shift from land reforms to land liberalization so uh, we had done a lot of land reforms we will have a special lesson on land reforms historically what we have done after independence uh, so land reforms uh, you know that we had done was abolition of zamindari then you know uh, 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 prevention of fragmentation of land consolidation of land so many different land reforms we had brought in but now is the time for land liberalization so that you know people can freely use the land and you know the lease agreements are also legal and you know people can access various benefits and everything is on paper okay so there is there is nothing which which has to be hidden from the system now there are various state level adoption which have been done in our country various states uh, again as i told you that agriculture is a uh, agriculture and land is a state subject so this act which i mentioned here is again a model act okay so this is just a model act by the central government uh, after which the state governments can enact and adopt uh, this act and enact their own uh, acts um, you know depending on the local conditions so there are various state level adoptions so the first is by the state of madhya pradesh so it adopted a modified version of this uh, 2016 act and it allows lease up to 3 um, uh, years okay then uh, then in in odisha uh, the draft is under discussion partial implementation via mous in tribal belts so the draft is under discussion now they have not enacted the act yet but there is a partial implementation via mous is memorandum of understandings in tribal belts then the state of uttar pradesh it has legalized land leasing in 2021 andhra pradesh uh, under, under the raitu bharosa kendras uh, you know which promotes formal leases via fpo so again another form of land leasing but many states lag due to political fears around land alienation and weak land record digitization so there are various issues it is not very easy as i told you that the land records you know the record of rights which mentions about the land held or owned by a particular person is not updated and it is also not digitized so it is very difficult to you know actually get into these agreements since there is no formal paper to support that there are various international case studies also so these i have mentioned just for you to uh, to be able to write good answers to substantiate your points so you can uh, mention these in your answer writing so in in vietnam which which has a very good um, uh, you know reform which was brought in after the 1986 doi moi reforms uh, which converted collectives into long term leaseholds with full marketability okay so kind of land leasing 
it led to boom in rice exports plus farm incomes then in kenya also the sugarcane outgrower scheme so under this scheme uh, it is similar to contract farming it showed success where strong farmer cooperatives existed then in usa 50% of cropland is yield so lot of you know farmland is yield there actual owners don't cultivate they are they gave it to they they have given it to some somebody else use of cash rent benchmarks plus enforceable leases plus tax incentives has created a fluid and efficient land lease market so see this developed countries and developing countries are using it then what are the various um, uh, you know legal or constitutional issues associated with this so as i told you land is a state subject in list 2 center can only make model acts states must pass enabling laws so adoption varies widely okay so from one state to another the rate of adoption and the kind of adoption varies uh widely contract farming however also falls under the concurrent list okay so there is a catch here contract farming con comes under the concurrent list also giving center more room to legislate and uh, this is under entry 33 of list 3 of the constitution what are the policy recommendation towards this so uh the first thing that we need to do is to digitize our land records link with aadhar to clarify ownership for leasing and contract farming we have to create a state level contract enforcement boards for speedy resolution of any disputes and build leasing exchanges with e registration and smart contracts very very important then credit pass through to tenants portable kcc card so that you know the kisan credit cards become portable and uh, you know tenants can uh, can use those credit cards support uh, to the farmer producers organization fpos is very very important uh, because they can mediate the contract farming collective contracts plus monitoring okay so individual farmers instead of entering into the uh, contracts with the uh, you know xyz companies you know they can they can go, they can go through the fpo so fpo is a farmer producer organization a registered society which can then enter into agreement on behalf of the farmers with this company so that they have more bargaining power and monitoring is also better and link contract crops to enam or ondc platform to to guarantee floor prices so again very very important so that the farmers are not exploited by these companies they get a fair price so uh, this was in short about the land leasing also uh, contract farming also try to understand that these are the uh, you know emerging issues and you know we need to deal with them very very cautiously there are legal hurdles there are uh, institutional hurdles political hurdles to this so all kind of sensitivities need to be kept in mind we'll discuss another topic on indian agriculture in the next video thank you